Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the God Please Clean My Room Project's Daily Wash number 63. Today's topic is Shortcuts Equal Future Setbacks. Our scripture reference will be taken from Genesis, the 16th chapter, and we will be reading the first through the fourth, ver fourth verses excuse me, from the New King James Version, which says, now Sarah, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, and she had an Egyptian maid servant whose name was Hagar. So Sarah said to Abram, See now, the Lord has restrained me from bearing children. Please go into my maid. Perhaps I shall obtain children by her. And Abram heeded the voice of Sarah. Then Sarah, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan. So he went into Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress became despised in her eyes. And we're going to end there. But I encourage you to read the entire chapter of Genesis, the 16th chapter. And this is the focus of tonight's or today's message for you. Because um, I know we can all relate to where we felt that we had to endure something for a long period of time. Maybe you've been a student at one point in your life, a student of an academic subject, and perhaps you felt it was too much to study a certain topic, and maybe you wanted to get somebody else to do your assignment for you, which we know is plagiarism, or maybe you wanted to copy someone else's work, with it, which is also another form of plagiarism. Or perhaps in your life you wanted to get somebody else to just take on a responsibility that belongs solely to you. And if any of us were to be honest about these circumstances, do you realize that whenever you take a shortcut, you're actually going to give yourself a future setback? And I'm pausing so that we can meditate on that because this is a serious topic. So many times we feel that we can just avoid something. We can ask God to eliminate something from our lives, which is exactly what the God Who's Clean My Room Project's um, message is about, you know. When we cry out to God and we ask him to take something away, when actually he's given us all the tools we need to succeed in that area and conquer it. However, we want to run away and hide. And he didn't ask us to do those things. He asked us to be more than conquerors. We know that he didn't give us a spirit of fear. Anytime you fear, feel fear, it comes from the enemy and it's a spiritual attack. And we know, um, as we study our word, that we're supposed to rebuke the devil and any spiritual attack that he tries to take on to us. So right now, I'm urging you through this video message to stand up, be firm, understand that you're more than a conqueror, find your strength again in Christ Jesus, and stop trying to find a shortcut to get out of whatever situation he is currently allowing you to endure. Do you not understand that whatever situation you're in is only going to prepare you for your future? Think about it. Would you want to go to the doctor that copied off of everyone else's tests in medical school? I know I wouldn't. You know, how would they, uh, let's imagine if it were a surgeon. Would you want a surgeon to cut into you that skipped every test or had somebody else to do whatever he needed to do? I think not. Because he wouldn't be prepared to perform that surgery on you so that your body may be repaired to where it needs to be repaired. So think of it that way. Whatever thing it is that you do in your life, whether you see your work as mediocre or whether you see the thing that you're doing as irrelevant right now, understand that it has some purpose that will speak to your future. And because I know that you're aiming to live the purpose-driven life, amen, you should be currently in the lane in which God placed you so that you can be doing all that he's called you to do. But if you have, have happened to take a detour, then you need to pray in your heart for God to give you the focus and strength you need to go back to where he planted your feet originally. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the God Please Clean My Room Project, this daily wash. Thank you for all that you've teaching, you're teaching us in this season. Thank you so much for reminding us that you are here with us every step of the way. And thank you for reminding us to not let you or ask you to move our mountains, but to give us the strength to climb them, Father God. Lord, we just thank you for all that you are doing for us and for reminding us that with every mountain we get stronger, we can handle the even bigger mountain that may come in our future, Lord. We understand that. With the enlargement of one's territory, there comes more responsibility. So in order for us to be able to receive more of a territory in the future, we'll need to show that we can be responsible for the smaller territory you've given us in our present day. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for your time, for your attention. God bless you and go in peace.